Because I, I really want to go fuck him up. I ain't talking about no fucking fighting. So I don't want to just, I just want to just rid my hands of the shit. You know, I don't want to put no stain on my life and end up in no fucking prison over no bum ass nigga with a fool's damn car. Yeah, that, that's some fucked up. And real quick, well, what do you think about all these people depending on grown men on food stamps, bro? Because I, I don't, it's like, I don't understand that shit at all. If only if you, you know, if the person on food stamps, they would, if you ain't on food stamps, man, you, you know, that shit is a bitch shit. I mean, what fucking dude's gonna have that unless you got your kids, you got kids, you just a single dad. Oh, he's on disability yeah. and doesn't have to pay child support. Hey, man, Steve, they don't have to pay child support. Yeah, that nigga, what he is fucked up. Yeah, and then he still don't do that for his daughter. That's why his girl put him out. She said she asked him for some money. He was over there for a month eating up all her, her daughter's food and shit. And she asked him for some money when his check came, and she said he didn't have nothing. And the only reason that he stayed there an extra couple of weeks is because he ran out of food stamps. I got all the audio for that as well. Yeah, I don't get that. You know, I can't, you know, that's, some, that's beyond me, but I ain't never heard of a real nigga try to get on food stamps. I just go get a job, go get so hustle on, but nah, I never, that food stamp shit is just, just, just Man, he on Section 8 and food stamps, bro. Man. God damn. Where this nigga live at? Um, they got him in some kind of subsidized housing. It'd be a, it'd be a train going over his head every uh, 30 minutes. He'd be screaming and shit. Yeah. <laughs> nigga's a bum, bro. He fucked out of special ed. He ain't got no car. He never had no job. I got um, screenshots of him begging for people to help him donate money to him to get an apartment on Twitter. Niggas a whole bomb, bro. They have been talking all this shit. He was trying to reinvent himself, stalking me. Yeah, that shit. But he still ain't, he still ain't elevated his life, though. Nah, um, he felt miserably, man. His shit is fucked up, and the, the way this shit sound, and he might go to jail. So I mean, goddamn, man. Yeah, he ain't going to jail. That's, that's that's a guarantee. I wouldn't even be talking about it if it wasn't real. I just want him to feel it because I know he's gonna cry. He's gonna go live and give me some more evidence to send to the feds. Even though I'm telling him, he's still gonna do it. Well, I mean, because he's, he's gonna he's gonna try to fight his case on YouTube, and he's just gonna give me more evidence. He probably just gonna have to see, you know, what, what could be done instead of you know you go that route. Can y'all, you know, squash it out? Can y'all do whatever? I mean, nobody want to go to goddamn jail. Yeah? I know, man. I sure would. I've been there before. It's not a nice place. That's why I don't. Yeah. That's why I don't commit crimes. Right. I mean, yeah. I've been before, and I don't. I, I was, in my younger years, I ain't trying to do that dumb shit again. Oh man, I, 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 I got him on so many different things. I, he might be doing longer than ten. Um, this stupid motherfucker has been getting up here bragging about how he gave Mike Mills my address and encouraged him to beat me up. That's a conspiracy. He bragged about um having nothing to do with the gas station. Him. This nigga, he fucked, bro. I'm just gonna keep it real. <laughs> Y'all think Rob Rack fucked? This nigga fucked. <laughs> this nigga like fucked, bro. Especially when the fans heard that conversation with my mama, bro. They didn't like that, bro. That's why they. That's why they kind of really wanted to get involved. I think that that's like an emotional thing for everybody. Everybody got a mama. So when the fans heard what he did with my mama, bro, because we sent the videos to him, everything. Yeah, I never even knew that shit either. That shit is. That's crossing a hell of a line, man. Who does some shit like that? Oh, oh yeah. After my after my mama's funeral, they got all my utilities cut off. They called they, they called all of the power companies and told them that my mama died and then she wanted her shit cut off. So in the middle of my live show, they cut off my electricity, my water, and my gas. Yeah. Yeah. And this was the day of this was the day of my mother's funeral. Oh, they also sent the, the, the fire department to my mother's funeral twice and the police. And then after my mother's funeral, they sent the fire department to my mother's house. And then they sent the fire department to Phoenix mother's house the same day of my mother's funeral. And then the same oh, day, my, the same this day, is all real or yeah, just the this is all of them. They working together. They was all working together. So, um, and then after, after my mother's funeral, they got all my utilities cut off. So I had to go, I had to go put everything in my name and pay, um, you know, you have to pay the little fee to get it cut on and all that. Yeah, they, they, they cost, cost me a pretty penny after that. And I didn't see my kill for half of this shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I think jail is a better option than me taking them off earth. Yeah, yeah.
I, I kind of agree. Yeah, man, you're going to have to do some time, though. Fans always want some time.